Hello, this is video 303, customizing the UKMX look. The toolbars are being handled on this one. So when we ended uh, video 302, um, we didn't do anything about the toolbars. And just like there was a, st a standard set of the job workspace made available to you to, to look at what we have, the same thing is also the case for the toolbars. You see, there is a lot of different toolbars on the system over here. They are spread out on the different sides of the main edit window. And what we're going to do now is actually customize that because in reality, you may not like this setup. So how do we start? Well, first off, let's start by removing the toolbars that we do not care about. Doing so is very simple. You right click in the one of the toolbar areas and you just uncheck the different toolbars so you notice that there is a number of them that have the uh, cross hatch in front of them those are all system provided ones so the ones that be provided for you as examples so let's take basically all of these out to start with well, I'm going to actually leave, I'm going to put one in before I take them all out. I'm taking the view edit and I'm moving that here at the top. Now I'm taking all the cross-assed ones there. They are all gone. So that's the start. So let's already save this because just like the menus the toolbars are saved together with the workspace so you can have different toolbars for different workspaces let's save that now let's make let's uh, do a little bit of more work like one of the ones that uh, i'm going to bring in is uh, input output help and i'm actually going to show you how you can have two of them on top of each other so now i have here one job quit new open etc so there's a number of options available you may not see all of those icons because it also depends on what you have available in in your license so here we have the skeleton view etc right they should be all familiar we did revamp these so that they look a little bit different um, for the new system we redid some of the ones that weren't very clear. The, these are all looking very nice now. So that's one thing about taking away the system ones and adding these two over here. But how about making some more changes? Uh, so you right click again in this area. And now we can say toolbars over here. And that will bring up the toolbar manager which will allow us to create our own or start by with the existing toolbar and start making changes. So let's make, take an example. So the one that we have up there now is the input output help. I'm going to duplicate that and I'm just going to give this my own name. For example, input output for LM. And now in this one, I'm, I can, for example, make a couple of changes. Like I'm not using the, the checklist over here. So I'm taking that out like that. I don't really need the screen dump. Um, I don't care about the world features like that. So let's take the classic drills out. I don't have scoring, so I take that out. I take my AOI out. All of these, I'm going to just take all of these out for now. So when I click OK, you see that it will show the original together with the one that I changed. So I'm going to take the original off and maybe just move that over it like that. OK. So that's a good start. 
So now I have uh, a couple of things that uh, I made it a little bit more my own. So let's go back in. And what about I, if I would like to add one? So to these over here, let's just say that I would like to um, add an output and I would like to add the output for the netlist. Actually, that's already there, but oh, there, I'll take it out. So I'll take an output and I click on the one that I want and then I click on the arrow to the right, which adds it from the left to the right. Now it automatically adds, adds it to the end of the list and I can now move it up to where I like it to be. The same fashion, if you like to have a separator, like we can just grab the separator and let's say that I want to to separate the things that are separate the outputs for example so let's make another one and i'll separate that out from the application help so that's how that looks like then All right so now you see the separators there's my added functionality and of course i can move these around any which way i like you can also have them float, by the way, if you like that. There we go. So that's how you can change your and make your own. I'm going to show you one more for those of you that have scripts. How can I create my own commands? I'm actually going to add this. Well, just I just use the same one. I'm going to add a script to the toolbar. Like one of the one of the functions that um, I typically do when I work on a job is I like to build a that list, create the reference layers, and create and save a reference job. Now those are three different visits to the uh, tools netlist menu. So what I did is I created a little script that co runs these consecutively. So I'm going to add that function to my um, to my toolbar. I just I call it netrefer, just to have a name. Um, you can make a tooltip builds builds the netlist, creates the reference layers, and saves a reference job so then for an icon we can click up here um let's take net there's like a net list one okay i'll take this guy and then finally i need to tell it which scripts i'm actually going to run so for that I'm going to navigate to where my scripts are located. And in this case, we are going to go to the UXX netrefer. Finally, I click create command. What that does, it adds it under the custom section. And now I can just grab this, push it over and maybe move it in place. Let's say that I want to that that's an operation that I want to do in between things. So I'll do one more separator and move that in like that. I save it. That will refresh it. Okay. Now it will always put the tier at the end. So I'm just going to grab it one more time and put it where I want it. There's my netlist icon. I deliberately took one that looks completely different from the other ones. So not necessarily the prettiest one, but it served the purpose. So now we go to workspaces and save. And there we go. We just created 
and customized our toolbars. And that ends video 303. Thanks.